Do the full run, it seems pretty consistent down here for breeze and direction. Coming to you. Okay. Come on. We were really coming here to pack the craft up. Whilst we broke the, the previous record by nearly 20 kilometres an hour, which is a, a great achievement. I was semi-content, but not 100% content. And 222 is a, is a great number. It's bloody fast, uh, to be honest. It's, it's pretty hairy and, and, and pretty sketchy driving the thing at those speeds. But, um, you know, I just want a little bit more and I probably won't be content until I get there, to be honest. Well, it's lovely to be back here at Lake Gearna. The main intention to be here is to pack the thing up and send it back to Auckland, which has become quite important. It just so happens it coincides with a great little weather window. and. Um, and Glenn's excitement, so away we go. <laughs> I haven't had an opportunity to, to see the craft run in the salt. There's only so much you can estimate and learn behind a screen, and already just being here, I'm just staggered at almost the brutality of this place, how variable it is. That's, that's the thing that shocked me the most, is probably the salt. You know, you look around you and it just looks white and consistent, but it's so far from consistent. The more you drive, you hit all these totally different surface conditions, so Glenn's got a real job on his hands trying to thread the needle and find the grip in the right places where there's wind as well. Right now there's a late bit of puff in the day that could just be what we need to eke a little bit more out of it. Check, check, double check. Yeah, loud and clear. I'm pretty happy to go canopy down if you guys are happy. Chocks out. And she's all done. Here. Two zero at the top end, two one at the band, one six eight angle. Twenty one top end, twenty one at the band. Oh. Really puppy. Yep, just be careful of the marbles up here. Two fourteen. Okay. It's a good shakedown run though. Two fourteen top there, guys. Just taking a little hand jump in here. Yeah, he's just doing something different. Six, five. He's using all his runway on this one. This is good, but it's going to be a good one. Plenty going on here. Plenty going on. 22 of the van. 95. Going to hold a little. Bearing away here. Pretty much two days before pack up, we've actually set a new benchmark for the uh, world's fastest wind powered craft, superseding our own previous record. Pretty excited. You know, I would have loved to have gone a little bit quicker, but I think that's me. I, I think this is how it ends. <laughs> I'd love to go quicker all the time, but I think you've got to pull up stumps at some stage and absolutely stoked for the team. We've pushed some pretty big boundaries with this project and you've got to enjoy the journey along the way, but sometimes when you get to the destination, it's, uh, it's pretty nice as well. So we set a new benchmark and couldn't be happier.